Kingstown students and faculty came back from the holiday break to find graffiti on the outside of the high school. And our cameras were first on the scene. Eyewitness News reporter Anita Buffoni spent the afternoon at the school and joins us now live in studio with the new details. Anita. Mike and Caroline, it was discovered around 6 o'clock this morning by police and faculty. The outside of the school was spray painted with graffiti, some smiley faces and peace signs, but not all of it was that lighthearted. Vulgarities were also painted on the doors and windows. Crews were at North Kingstown High School just before 9 in the morning. Scrubbing and power washing graffiti off the outside of the building. Here is what we know. The North Kingstown superintendent says three individuals were seen on surveillance footage. Multiple cameras captured the vandals around 11 o'clock Wednesday night. The superintendent says his administration and police are investigating. Carolyn Sherman lives in viewing distance of the high school. I'm distressed because I've always felt very safe here. The superintendent says video of the suspects was turned over to local police. As students and faculty went back to school from the holiday break, they were welcomed to graffiti wrapped around half of the building. Some of it had vulgar language. I still feel safe, but it is disturbing to see that there would be uh, vandalism so close. Uh, maybe that's what happens if you let kids have a holiday. As crews worked to clean the graffiti, police officers were searching trash bins at houses behind the school. It's unclear at this point if it's in connection to this incident. The vandalism did not impact classes. The superintendent says the day went on as scheduled. I think kids probably were uh, targeting the school in particular. Now, we have called the North Kingstown Police Department to find out more information, but we have not heard back. Coming up new at 6, hear more about one neighbor and what they had to say about what they heard last night around the same time the incident happened. I'm Anita Buffoni, Eyewitness News. Power washers were going at North Kingstown High School early today, spraying off graffiti. Students and teachers came back from holiday break this morning to find the building covered with it. Now investigators are working to identify who's responsible. Eyewitness News reporter Anita Buffoni talked to a neighbor about what happened. She joins us now live in studio with the new details at 6 o'clock. Anita? That's right, Mike and Caroline. One neighbor who lives in viewing distance of North Kingstown High School said as the first day of the new year was coming to an end, she heard some loud noises around 1130 last night. That's around the same time three individuals were seen on surveillance footage vandalizing that school building. This was the site at North Kingstown High School as students and faculty got back to their normal schedules following the holiday break. Graffiti covering half of the building and the school's signs. North Kingstown superintendent says three suspects were seen on video around 11 o'clock Wednesday night. He says the school and police are investigating. Carolyn Sherman lives nearby and heard a few loud noises around the same time. I did hear uh, fireworks of some kind or, uh, you know, just a single explosion and then a few more a little while later. While she said she isn't sure if the sounds are from the incident or just some celebrating the new year, she found the vandalism to be unsettling. I still feel safe, but it is disturbing to see that there would be uh, vandalism so close. Cleaning crews spent the morning power washing and scrubbing off the graffiti. Police officers were seen searching trash bins at a few houses near the school. It's unclear if it's connected to this incident. The video of the suspects was turned over to North Kingstown Police, according to the superintendent. Now, all of the graffiti has since been cleaned off the school. Multiple calls and messages to the North Kingstown Police Department, department have not yet been returned. I'm Anita Buffoni, Eyewitness News.